What's up everyone, this is the Fortnite Underground complete optimization guide for the new season of Fortnite. So we're gonna go over the best competitive settings for Fortnite, resetting our video game cache so we don't have any random stutters just because of old cache from previous seasons. And we're gonna go over Epic Games launcher settings, GPU optimizations, which driver you should use, and Windows optimizations that are really important and should help almost all of your games, not just Fortnite. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So before you do anything, head over to the link in the description and grab that folder that has all the optimizations we're going to be going through you need this folder in order to continue with this video so once you've gotten that folder go to your desktop just put the folder on your desktop and as you can see it's going to be called fortnite underground optimization dash zilly all you're going to do is just extract it with 7-zip or winrar before you open it then you're going to open it first thing we're going to do is reset cache this is important if you've had the game for a while and you haven't like completely wiped it and reinstalled it or you haven't like factory reset your computer and reinstalled the game so this is really important if you haven't done either one of those keep in mind this is going to delete all of your replays so if you have any replays that you need saved for whatever reason just keep that in mind they're going to get deleted with the step that we're doing right now so just double click on number one and go here you're just going to find fortnite game and you're going to delete this that's pretty much it then we're going to go back and we're going to go back again go to game config and launcher settings we're going to go to epic games launcher double click on this once epic is open all you're going to do is you're going to go to the gear icon on the top right click settings we're going to uncheck minimize system tray i'm going to uncheck one when my computer starts uncheck the desktop notifications and if you scroll down and expand fortnite don't have any command line arguments these never worked and they're locked by the developers of the game so anybody that's telling you that these work or whatever or it should work it's rubbish they're locked by the developer no command line arguments for this game fortnite works for fortnite specifically the developers have locked it there are no additional command line arguments that actually apply in game we're going to go back go to library find where your fortnite is at and then you're going to click the three dots click options make sure everything here is unchecked except pre-download streamed assets we want to have this downloaded just because if you don't have this downloaded it's going to like start downloading assets while you're playing obviously you don't want that you just want it already downloaded before you even launch the game so basically check that and then press apply and then now we're going to actually launch the game because we deleted the configuration file so it has to remake some of those folders so we can actually import the configuration file that's optimized so just launch your game all right so whenever you load it up again it's gonna say this we're gonna press decline and we're just gonna let it load for a little bit longer basically we're just trying to get the configuration files to get remade so we can replace them with the optimized one so i'm gonna skip through all this close the game and it might look a little bit weird right now it might look a little bit stockish so just ignore that now go back to the actual pack of this video go to game config and launcher settings we're gonna copy this game user settings right just right click on it click copy copy go to fortnite underground optimization go to reset cache go to this we're not going to delete the fortnite game this time we're just going to go inside of it i'm going to go to saved config windows client right click click paste click replace the file in the destination and it's going to replace with the optimized file so now we're going to double click on this we're going to scroll down and find frame rate limit and basically you're going to change this to whatever refresh rate your monitor is set to so for me it's going to be 144 if you're on 240 set it to 240 if you're on 360 set it to 360 if you're on 360 you can't get 360 fps constantly in game try using 240 or try using g-sync and just dropping it down a little bit really depends on your situation but if you're on 240 hertz and you can get 360 cap at 360 you're going to get that benefit of the lower input lag just because the fps is a little bit higher if you're on 144 and you can get a little bit more just cap 288 you can actually type that out in here 288 save this configuration file load in game and it won't say in the actual settings that it's capped at 288 but if you jump in game and like creative or battle rail it'll be capped at 288 so that's if you get more than 144 and you get a multiple of 144 for 60 hertz just cap 240 or 360 it just depends on what you're getting on a 60 hertz monitor if you're getting like 120 fps just cap 120 and vice versa just keep doing this whatever hertz you have you're just going to use multiples of your refresh rate so 75 hertz you could do 150 you can do a little bit more than that just add whatever refresh rate that you have right now multiply it by two multiply it by three depending on your pc specs and depending on what you get in game you're going to cap at one of those values but realistically most of you are going to be capping at your refresh rate or slightly above so for the people that get 360 fps constantly on 240 hertz monitor you guys are going to be the ones that are going to be capping at 360 fps everybody else might just be capping capping at the monitor refresh rate. So it's going to be the same thing for me. I'm just going to cap at 144 FPS. Then I'm going to click file, save, close out of this 
and you can pretty much close out of this. Now, we're gonna launch the game and actually double check if everything has saved. We'll go back into the optimization folder, go to game config, go to Epic Games Launcher, and just launch your game. And we're gonna go through some settings that are dependent on your account. They do not actually save with the configuration file. They're just linked to your account. So we're gonna change those real quickly. So once we're in game, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this icon and then go to settings, and then just make sure everything here looks similar to what I have. It's gonna automatically load you in performance mode so you don't have to worry about switching between dx11 and performance mode then we're going to go to settings at the top the gear icon scroll down turn off nvidia highlights and peripheral lighting this is really important and then scroll all the way down make sure these two are off they should already be off but just double check replays is really important you can disable replays if you don't use them at all if you don't use replays at all and you have this enabled it is going to use some more resources and it might take up some drive spaces so if you don't use replays at all just recommend turning these off and it's especially turn off record high quality replays. This is honestly just not worth it, especially in the game that's very competitive like this. And most of you that are watching this are competitive players. So you want mostly all of this off, but record replays is kind of helpful. So you might want to keep that on, but that's going to be pretty much it for the Fortnite settings. Now I'm going to jump into the NVIDIA driver control panel settings and some AMD control panel settings as well. So just close out of the game and head over to the pack folder again, and we're going to go through the GPU optimization. So first things first is, is make sure you're on the latest GPU drivers if you're watching this video. If you are optimized by me or don't update the drivers, check in with me, but don't update it if you're on my PC optimization. It's just gonna reset some stuff. But if you're watching this just for the settings, if you're on my optimization, just continue with the settings part previously. Don't watch the rest of this. This is just for people that don't have the optimization. So make sure you're on the latest drivers. And once you have the latest drivers, just go back in here and go to MSI mode tool. And this is for any GPU. Just find your GPU, make sure MSI is checked and make sure it's set to undefined and then press apply on the top right then we're going to close out of this we're going to go to nvidia go to nvidia profile inspector and it's just going to open up this i already have these settings already pre-configured for you guys so all you have to do is just drag this dot nip file into the nvidia profile inspector it will tell you profile successfully imported and then press apply changes make sure you're running nvidia profile inspector as administrator or else it might not work. And then you can drag it over and press apply changes on the top right. Now you can close out of these two, go to NVIDIA control panel, and we're gonna go to adjust image settings with preview. We're gonna click use the advanced 3D image settings. Make sure this is checked, press apply, go to manage 3D settings and make sure everything here looks similar to what I have. And monitor technology might be set to custom or not supported. Set that to fixed refresh. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Set that to fixed refresh, scroll all the way down and turn off vertical sync. Just make sure that's set to that. And preferred refresh rate, set that to highest available. That's after you change the monitor technology to fixed refresh. So just keep that in mind. That's only on some monitors that you can change that setting. So go to configure surround. Obviously, just set this to your GPU. And then we're going to go to adjust desktop size and position. And if you don't use stretch resolution whatsoever, just set both of these to no scaling. Stretch resolution honestly delivers no performance benefit. I know a lot of people have told you it does. It actually doesn't. All you're doing is just reducing your pixels, reducing your FOV for zero gain. It's just personal preference and it's a little bit of a placebo. So if you like that go ahead by all means use it otherwise if you're using it for a performance benefit unless you're on the worst gpu it won't really do anything on a 1650 like this it might do something but for most of you you're on a 30 series card or something equivalent so you can just leave stress rest alone but yeah go to change resolution make sure your refresh rate is all the way to the highest then click use the nvidia color settings make sure this is set to full it's gonna black screen your monitor for a second press yes do the same thing for your second monitor if you care about it but yeah one thing i would recommend is unplugging your second monitor if you truly truly care about latency the second monitor can cause some issues within windows like for example i've seen some people have a 60 hertz monitor and a 240 hertz monitor and whenever they tab in game the monitor would switch to 60 hertz just because they have the 60 hertz plugged in so it's a weird bug with windows just keep that in mind if your game starts to feel like 60 hertz randomly out of nowhere that could be the reason why it could be your second monitor causing this so experiment with that obviously second monitors are really helpful so if you really need it just keep it but just double check that your 240 hertz or 144 hertz or 360 hertz is set to the actual refresh rate as shown in the physical monitor buttons so just check that i have a short on how to check that you can just go through my youtube channel and find that but that's going to be pretty much it for the nvidia control panel settings just make sure you've got all that straight now we're going to jump back in the fortnite underground optimization guide make sure if you're on amd just follow these two pictures it'll show you the best amd control panel settings it's very simple very straightforward for amd now we're going to go back we're going to go to 
basic Windows optimizations. So we're going to skip disabled Windows Defender for now. We're going to focus on these two. So if you're on a laptop, you're going to run commands laptop. If you're on a desktop, you're going to run commands desktop. So right click on it, click run as administrator, and it's going to tell you this is done. Press a key, it'll close out. So there's just two commands that help performance if you're on a desktop. On a laptop, it's just going to be one command because the other command does actually hurt laptop performance if you use it on a laptop. So make sure if you're on a laptop, only run the laptop one. Do not run the desktop one. Now disable Windows Defender. This is really important. The easiest way to do this is just disabling it within your Windows settings. So once you've disabled it in the Windows settings, come back to this video and I'll show you a screenshot on how to disable it in Windows settings. But make sure you do that before you do anything. And once you've done that, you go back in this pack. And when you're watching this video, there's going to be a program in here that disables Windows Defender for you. Just use that. But make sure before you use it, go to your Windows settings, turn off tamper protection, turn off real time protection, turn off all of that in the Windows settings under Windows Defender. Once you do that, you go use this program and it will disable Windows Defender completely for you. And then you can restart and you won't have the Windows Defender service running in Task Manager. But other than that, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for the PC optimization for Fortnite Underground. And if you like this video and if this video actually helped you, go ahead, comment down below, subscribe, leave a like, make sure to share this with your boys, make sure they are all running on the best game possible. If for whatever reason this still did not help you or it only helped a little bit and you feel like you should be getting a lot more FPS or a lot less in lag, go ahead and visit my website in the description and book a PC optimization service. I've worked with top Fortnite players like Booga, all the top names you could think of, I've worked with them. So go ahead and book a PC optimization through that site. I'll go through and optimize your whole computer, giving you lower ample lag in almost every single game you can think of and better FPS in almost every scenario possible. So that's if you want a full PC optimization service. If you're one of those guys that have been thinking about getting a PC upgrade or, or getting a completely new PC, go ahead and visit the second link in the description. That's going to take you to the best PC on the internet, built by me, optimized by me, and stress tested by me. There's no PC better than that on the internet as I could think of right now. That's going to be the best PC you could buy for that money possible. And it's going to be optimized and tested before you even get it. So once you get it, all you have to do is install your games, launch the games, and enjoy that sweet buttery gameplay. So if you want that, go ahead and visit the second link in the description. And that's going to be pretty much it for me, guys. If you like this, leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.